Oi, aqui é Max Cavalera, aqui em Colorado. Vocês estão assistindo Super Scam. Valeu, porra. Um, you talk about A Boy from Brazil, the title of your autobiography. Yeah. Um, coming out in November, possibly. But don't worry, we won't hold you to that. Possibly with the new record. Now, this autobiography, I mean, written by Joel MacIver, uh, amazing British writer, 22 heavy metal books. Uh, he's done a lot of autobiographical work, and uh, that's mainly what he does in nonfiction. What is basically the concept, aside from the usual autobiographical stuff and material, what is the concept, what is the, the focus of the book? Is it life in Brazil? Is it music? Is it a little bit of everything, family life, uh, career? What is it? It's a little bit of everything. It's really detailed, like we did thousands of interviews, so it's going to get really detailed about my childhood how I got into music, how I created Sepultura, and um, then later on, parting ways from Sepultura, creating Soulfly and telling people how that transition was. And uh, I think what what is also good is the people interview on the book, which is a very specific kind of people like that are being part of, of the, the my history, like the people that signed Sepultura first, Cogumelo Records, uh, Pat and Juan, they own the book. So they gave their insight or how was it to sign this unknown band you know all these kids you know that we were kids in brazil at that time and what we we, we made it you know and then you know all the musicians like i work with tom araya is going to be in the book and and chino moreno and mike Patton, you know and um yeah so sharon osborne she, she had a big part of, of our became part of our life in the in the split with Sepultura. We had dinner at the house and there was at that time where Ozzy t kind of gave me a really words of encouragement to go on and because he did it without Black Sabbath. So coming from him was real, like for me, really inspirational, you know. And we got Dave Grohl doing the intro of the book. And, yeah, uh, he's doing the foreword. How did it happen? Was that your choice? Or was, was my it choice. Joel? Uh, he's you a work with him on Probot, of course. Probot, but yeah. And I knew he's a fan. He's been a fan for a long time. He loves Roots and um, loves Sepultura and my, you know, loved the work we did on, on Red War and on a Probot. Yeah. So I thought he's such an uh, iconic figure right now in world music, in, in rock in general, you know. That would be really credible to have him do the uh, introduction of the book, you know. And he wrote something really cool, so people have to wait to, to, to read it. But this is really, really special. And um, so, yeah, I think it's going to be really, uh, I'm going to go home now and find the pictures that's going to go in the book. Because a lot of cool pictures from old days, Sepultura State, Nail Bomb, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's, it's going to be really good, you know. It's, I think it's coming in a good time. And like you said, Joe MacGyver is a great guy, very credible writer. Uh, he's done some amazing books. I read the Motorhead one and the Randy Rhodes and the Metallica one that he did, and I was blown away. I like how easy he's, uh, the writing that he uses is very simple. Um, so it gets really easy for you to get into what he's writing, you know. So we, we decided to do it in the same way. So it's going to be an easy book to read. But I think in the end of the day, I think what people are going to take from the book is um, more of an inspirational journey that you can do it. Like somebody like me came from Brazil and managed to become a, a figure worldwide that everybody can do it. So I think that's really uh, a, a good point in the book, like very inspirational very for for people to read it and be like, Max can do it, we can do it. Like give that kind of power that is necessary for a young musician to reach the next level, you know. Disappointing. Revolution.